Hello everybody, this is Zacchaeus Nifong with Orthodox Daily Online Enterprises. Uh, today I'm just going to teach you how to change the name of your WordPress theme so that when people <clears throat> view your page source they can actually see the the name of the theme. Sometimes developers will do this because they don't want anybody to know for example where the theme came from, is customized, or for various reasons. So uh, I'm just going to use this one as an example if you right click your screen and I'm using uh, Mozilla Firefox and go to view page source okay you get this that which is the page source just hit control F and of course down here in the bottom you can see where it says find just type in theme okay and it will find where it says theme okay if you look at the green it says theme and then it says uh, some of the words. <clears throat> so that's how people can find out what kind of theme you're using. So what you would want to do first in order to change it is just go under appearances and this is WordPress 3.3.1 and you would want to go under themes and go ahead and activate one of the alternative themes. I'm just going to use uh, 2011 then you want to log into your server. I'm using uh, f I'm using FileZilla. Um, if you're a Mac user, I think I forget what the one's called for Mac. Anyway, just navigate towards your theme, which I'm doing now, and I'm going to go ahead and say rename. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and rename it. Just keep in mind that I did that um, while the other one was activated. So so that's very very important to do just keep in mind again like I was saying um, activate an alternative theme first before you change the name um, within your your FTP client like FileZilla okay at that point I always like to just go ahead and do uh, clear cache um, I use a clear cache plugin in Firefox which actually works it's down here is the notification um, when I hit clear cache I'm just gonna F5 it just refresh I like to always do things this way. Um, now we're going to go back to the website. Let's go ahead and clear cache one more time. I'm going to hit F5, so we're going to refresh. And it does appear as though that the website is now using the WordPress default theme. So that being said, let's go ahead and activate the other one, the one that we want to activate, the one that we changed the name to. All right. Let's go back to the regular website, the front end. Okay, so here we are. And a lot of times I've noticed that when you do this, the widgets actually get rearranged. So you may have to go back into your theme and actually rearrange the widgets. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just do that real quick. Okay, page sidebar. All I'm going to do is just throw in just a couple things. Just going to put in the search and I'm going to throw in going to throw in this. It's basically just a picture widget. Then I'm going to throw some stuff inside the uh, the footer widget. Um, just one of the things I wanted to point out to you, you'll notice that um, when you rename the theme that all of the widgets, the ones that were active, actually got dropped down into the inactive wid widgets. In other words, you don't lose them, which is awesome. So just kind of keep that in mind. Then the last thing you'll want to do is just fix your menu. So if you just click on Menu, and you see how right here in the main nav, it's there's nothing there. This happens a lot when you rename your theme. Just just go ahead and click on the the menu name that you had it before and then hit save um, which is what I'm doing now and then if we go back okay you'll notice the footer widget area there's nothing here let's go ahead and F5 it refresh and now all of a sudden we've got everything back our social links and now we have the nav bar at the top again so that is how you change the uh, name of a um, of a WordPress theme. Thank you.